Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to work the bubble stitch pattern that I use in a lot of my knitting patterns. And I know some people have a little trouble getting the hang of this stitch, so I'm just going to show you now. I have worked on this little uh, project here. I have already done two rows of the bubble stitch pattern. So now I'm just going to knit five more rows in stockinette and then I'm going to show you guys exactly how to work this um, bubble stitch. All right, so now I have done the five rows of stockinette and I'm going to show you how to work the bubble stitch pattern. So according to the pattern, you have to knit the first three stitches. And now, and you can tell that you have to do the bubbles um, so that they lay like this. So I need to make a bubble here. You can see that you have two bubbles here, so you need to make one in the middle. So how you do this is that you count five stitches down and you count the stitch that you have on your needle already. Let me get in a little bit. I'm just, let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. So I know that I knit continental style, but um, I think for the bubble stitch, it's easier to show you guys this way. So you count down your, uh, you count your stitches, five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. Go in through this stitch, pick up your yarn, pull your yarn through this stitch and slip the stitch from the needle like this. Let me zoom out and do it again. One, two, three. Okay, now you count five stitches down. One, two, three, four, five. Go through this one, pick up the yarn, take it through the stitch, slip the stitch from your needle, knit three more. One, two, three, count five below. One, two, three, four, five. Go through this stitch, grab your yarn, push this, and tighten your knitting a little bit. Every time you do the bubble stitch, you want to tighten just a little bit. One, two, three, one, no. <laughs> Look, I almost made a mistake there. So you remember to count the stitch that you have on your needle. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So we just did another row of bubbles here and they see like this. Okay, so I did another five rows of the net, and now I have to do the next row of the bubble stitch pattern. So uh, you have to make sure that the bubbles are staggered. I think that's the word. So I have one bubble here. So I know that the next bubble stitch will be this one in the middle. Can you see? So every time there's a bubble, then on the next bubble stitch row, this stitch will be the bubble stitch. So you can always tell where you are in the pattern because you can see this is the old bubble stitch. So this will now be the middle of the next bubble. And this is a bubble. So this will now be the bubble stitch. So. The pattern says knit one, work a bubble stitch, one, two, three, four, five, slip that stitch, knit three, do another bubble stitch, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, slip one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, slip, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah, so make sure you don't accidentally stick your needle into the next stitch. So one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. And slip that one, knit the last stitch. And you're all done. So let me just push these bubbles into place so you guys can see that this is how the bubbles are going to look. 
So I, in, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions or any other tutorials you would like uh, for me to do. Uh, if you did like my tutorial, please subscribe and like this video. That actually means a lot and helps my little business here. So enjoy.